Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha and I go by Sammy Saves here on this channel. So I was scrolling on TikTok and I saw this life hack, how to save $5,000 in a year video. And I just thought I would like to share that with you guys in case you don't have TikTok, in case you haven't seen it. I feel like this is gonna be a fun, exciting way to save $5,000 in a year. If you wanna find out how to save $5,000, so stay tuned to the end of the video because I have my own personal money saving life hack. If you are a Starbucks queen like myself and wanna drink all the Starbucks without spending all the money, stay tuned. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and post the video of what I saw. The credit goes to XO Jasmine 3. This is her video here. And so she posted two videos, essentially what the game actually is. And then the second video is how she explains it to you guys to kind of break it down because it doesn't seem like it makes any sense until you actually watch it and physically try it out. So step number one, and get 100 envelopes. When you get your 100 envelopes, you are literally gonna label them all the way from one to a hundred. Once you have those all labeled, then you go ahead and you shuffle them all up, okay? We're gonna pretend like it's a nice little tarot deck in here, all right? Just shuffle the cards, shuffle the cards for a long time. Okay, so I am playing this game by myself, so that means I'm going to pick two cards every week. Let me backtrack. So here is the rule plan, so essentially, Every week you will pick one card per person. This was done with a couple. They were both picking a card and then putting it into the pot of savings. Well, I'm gonna be playing this just by myself because I think it's really fun. So I myself would pick two cards and the very first ones I pick are 80 and eight. So I would put $88 together and then put that away as my weekly amount that I saved. Once again, I'm doing this by myself so you need to have two cards, 50 weeks times two equals 100, which is 100 cards that you started out with. So step number two, how often are you going to do this? There's 50, there's 52 weeks in a year, but you will be playing for 50 weeks, grabbing two cards, either one per person or you yourself just picking two cards. And that 50, 50 weeks times two is 100. You're starting off with 100 cards. So basically the math behind it is 100 plus 99 plus 98 plus 97, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The math comes down to $5,050. So you're getting a little bit more than 5,000, but 5,000 is just a nice clean number that everybody just likes to say. So that is what you will end up getting. And right here, this is XO Jasmine 3. I give her full credit for this idea, or at least that's who I found it from, so I wanted to share it with you guys. I am really excited to go ahead and do this. I'm gonna do maybe like monthly check-ins with you guys and show you my progress. I think $5,000 is a good achievable number. It's good for rainy days, just in case something happens, your car breaks down, vet visits, doctor visits impromptu concert tickets or something like that. Um, it's a really good cushion, I believe, for the full year. Now, how do you get this extra money or where is this money coming from if you're already strapped for cash? So what I recommend for these extra envelope incomes, you have a couple options. One, yes, you can just pick from your normal paycheck that you get weekly or bi-weekly from your day job, we'll call it. But I personally wanna challenge myself and pick two random cards. So let's just say next week I wanna start, which is true, I do wanna start next week. I got 58 and 57. So those two numbers, I wanna go ahead and find an extra stream of income that I can make with this money. So I I DoorDash occasionally, or if I just want extra money on my days off, I will go ahead and DoorDash. So this would be a great motivator. On one day, I need to make $57. On the next day, I need to make $58. And that way, it's not really coming from my day job. This is additional income coming in. This could be babysitting money. This could be selling something on Facebook Marketplace, selling something online. Um, this could come from dog walking. This can come from donating plasma. I don't know, however you guys get your supplemental income, I recommend that. There's multiple ways online that you guys can find to make money, whether it's DoorDash, Instacart, Uber. There's so many things out there. Now granted, there's taxes and all that kind of stuff you'll have to 
get around to of course but the bottom line is if you want to save five thousand dollars it's a good way to kind of motivate you to come up with extra money or at least keep you on track with taking out savings from your actual day job and then you never know you might get really lucky and that week you only get an 11 and a 12 or something like that and you can literally just get that by maybe not eating fast food for that week and putting that extra money into these envelopes so there's so many different ways that you guys can apply this game and one year like i said i don't feel like you're having to take out $300 every paycheck or $300 a month. It doesn't have to be that intense. We can just break it down to smaller, more achievable goals. So I hope that was motivating for you guys. Once again, her name is exojasmine3 on TikTok. I don't have a, t I have a TikTok, but I don't have any videos on there. I strictly just go and scroll. And luckily this one popped up in my recommended so I could share it with you guys. Here's my own personal money saving hack. So if you can see this says that I had a grande strawberry acai refresher. Clearly this is not what that is. Not only do I go to Starbucks and I save all of my cups, I reuse them for other drinks. Now this drink right here is a mocha iced coffee. I, specifically this is a mocha cold brew. So I want to show you guys how I make my own Starbucks drinks at home. I worked for Starbucks close to three years. It's in my blood I am a Starbucks snob. I like to have it daily, if not every other day. I am obsessed with Starbucks and I've come to terms that it's something that I just do in my daily normal routine. But spending $3.50 to $4.50 every morning, it does add up, especially when I do have it seven days a week, not just on days that I'm working. So let me show you how I started saving money and it tastes so similar to what you're getting at Starbucks and you're not having to wait in line in the morning and like, oh snap, I'm running late for work. Plus, if you're like myself, I will get my Starbucks. I don't care if I'm running late. I will come up with an excuse on the phone and be like, I'm sorry, I'm stuck in traffic. I'm bad, okay you guys, I am bad, I have an addiction. So this is a good way that if you're running late in the mornings, you can just pick this up and go and it definitely satiates the Starbucks fix. So let me show you. All right, so here it is. I have been using this guy right here. This is the Starbucks cold brew. There is also a mocha, but I like the cold brew. I feel like it's a way more potent version of getting coffee. Also, I should mention it's only 15 calories and three carbs, zero grams of fat. I use the serving size 12 ounces. Sometimes if I'm using the grande size, I don't use a full 12 ounces, maybe eight. And what I do is simply just mix that in. I just mix that in with one tablespoon for a grande size, maybe a tablespoon and a half for the grande. I use this Coffee Mate Cafe Mocha. I get this at our HEB. I have seen these at Target. They're like $1.50. I believe this is since it's new. I think it's $4.50. So for about $7 right here, I can have three, four, maybe five. Uh, I can make me about five drinks. I could probably have about five grandes and probably three ventis if you do end up saving the venti cup. So for $7, you get three to five, you know, roughly depending how much you drink, drink. So that's saving you already about like half the cost of Starbucks. And it is a Starbucks product. So it does have that nice like gourmet taste. It doesn't taste sugary. It is unsweet. Hence why I add my own mocha, but there's hazelnut. There's like confetti cake. There's so many different flavors. So I highly recommend if you are a Starbucks stop to start getting their cold brew. There's also different flavors. They even had just iced coffee. Once again, cold brew is way more potent, more concentrated caffeine and just a little bit of this guy and you are good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Post down below any TikTok hacks that you found or maybe a TikTok account that you recommend that has good money saving hacks. Any Starbucks kind of similar hacks that you guys have? Do you know any ways to save money going out on fast food or restaurants, anything like that? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, a like, a subscribe. It helps me out so much. I just love doing YouTube for fun, but eventually, just like everybody else, it would be nice to have a little bit of more supplemental income. I'll just be totally transparent. That would be amazing to work from home or at least make a little bit of money from home making these videos that I love doing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care. Bye.